meeting today uh, with the uh, MCC is is um, part of our exercise to understand them better and to impress upon them our concerns about certain issues, especially on um, sorry, I'm here. on uh, especially on uh, how they are addressing cases and um, specific specific cases were mentioned by us. For example, cases uh, involving the Chief Minister of uh, Sarawak, the Chief Minister of Sabah, uh, the Scopin uh, case, Shabi Abdal case. So those are specific uh, election offences, bribery, um, undue influence during elections, uh, because it falls also under MACC Act. Those were issues that we, we confronted them with. And, um, we sought for explanation on uh, what are their positions and they also on their part they explained to us about transformation that they would like to see. We also um, talk about the procurement process, government procurement process and so on. So those were the issues that were, uh, we covered in the two and a half hours meeting. Uh, did they tell you and give you any hints on what's going on in the Sarawak Chief Minister and Sabah Chief Minister case as well as the Yes, they did. Uh, they did. Uh, they explained um, to what extent uh, the investigation has been uh, undertaken. But um, we can't, uh, well, of course, we can't share more than that. Uh, Are you satisfied with the explanation? Uh, let, let me put it this way. Uh, MACC, uh, I think uh, we, all of us agree with that. MACC is a body um, that uh, wants to practice the best practice but however the law does not provide for it meaning to say that uh, it is a body an organization without thanks does not have the power to actually prosecute okay let's look at the for example election offenses uh, we talk about uh, undue influence um, announcements by Ketika government about about BRIM projects, you know, this is undue influence affecting the decisions of the voter. But they are not able to do anything about it because it goes back to Election Offences Act, which uh, they are not in position to implement. Even though that um, the MACC Act does actually mention about uh, prescribed uh, offences. So it's, it's back to the law and uh, we see that there is a lot of reform that needs to be done uh, to give them more fangs. I mean, we have always talked about SPR without fangs, SPRM without fangs, and basically, it goes back. Everything goes back to the AG's chambers, and and um, and that's the situation. 